and in the ditch. And I believe I picked him up and gave him to Jeff and I went to Tabitha. And now I could see where she was shot at, I knew it was over. Vidar, Delfina, and Tabitha died. Peter survived. The killers were on the loose and a nationwide search was on. We got an NCIC alert is what it is. Two days later, the Lily Lids van was stopped at the Arizona-Mexico border. A customs computer that had been down all day suddenly came back on when the van tried to cross back into the U.S. You know, it's, it's a little bit uh, chilling, I guess, when you think about as that van pulls up, the uh, customs officer in that station, his computer comes up all of a sudden, so he's able to run that, and when he runs it, it comes back that it's stolen and that the occupants would be suspects in a triple homicide. And so that's how they were able to arrest him at the border. John Huffine with the Greene County Sheriff's Department was the lead investigator. He remembers days later when the teens were brought back to East Tennessee. Those six kids became the image of evil for this community. The teens initially pleaded not guilty. Six months later, struck a deal, pleading guilty in exchange for life in prison. I'm not a monster, you know. I'm not one the paper is trying to make me out to be. Yeah, I see it every night before I go to sleep. I mean, it's there all the time. If I'd had my way done, I'd hung them at night. But, you know, I don't have my way. we got to go through the court system. And the court system gave them what they deserved.